Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to continue the theme from Wednesday. Uh, not so much uh, why pretty much everything you buy these days is getting cheaper and cheaper, but more along the lines of if I'm going to switch uh, a lot of my impeller mag drive uh, pump systems into air driven systems, I need to create more flow. Not so much uh, more flow at the surface of the water. If I'm going to run a hob or an under gravel filter or a box filter or a sponge filter or whatever, I've already created enough uh, ways of, of producing more than enough flow for that. I mean, it's not really that necessary. And if I wanted more circulation in the tank, I can always just add an air stone or whatever and create more actual current that way. And then the hob or whatever will just do the filtration. But if I'm going to raise the water more than a couple inches above the surface of the water, like I need to do that for a number of systems, then I have to figure out a way of doing that. Because pretty much every airless system I've done so far and the ones I've looked up, they're all great when it comes to the surface of the water and even a few inches. But once you start getting about six inches or even more above the surface of the water, they all end up losing their flow. I mean, you end up with broken bubbles and a little bit of splashing and not really much in the way of actual flow. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to try and create a system where the biggest pipe on the left is going to be on the bottom and they're all going to nest together. I mean the two biggest ones I'm going to have to make bushings for. Now these two fortunately just fit together nicely so that's uh, one thing that's going to be easy. I'm going to pump air into the large one and that's going to create water flowing upwards and hopefully that water will gain enough momentum and retain that momentum as it goes from smaller diameter to smaller diameter to smaller diameter and hopefully uh, the end result is it will shoot out of the top pipe and hopefully create a lot more flow. Now to make the bushings I'm going to use this piece of Delrin or acetyl is the generic name for it uh, I'm running out of it so what I thought I would do is I would make both the bushings out of the one piece and I just keep flipping back and forth and then once they're all machined properly I would just cut it down the middle uh, true up both ends and then I'd be good to go <laughs> unfortunately I screwed one up so I'll end up having to make uh, another one anyway uh, so so much for trying to you know save material this method of gradually reducing the volume of a pipe that water is uh, flowing through, it's used an awful lot in a number of things, uh, but because water isn't compressible, uh, it actually works really, really well. But because this is an air-driven system and air is compressible, I'm not entirely sure uh, that the same principle will carry over. But I think if the original pipe uh, was a lot longer, so let's say I was building this for a three-foot deep tank, and it had enough time to um, really uh, get flowing in a <laughs> given direction, I think it actually would work a lot better, but that requires me using a lot more material, and I didn't really, uh, well, first off, I don't have one in the shop, so I didn't really want to do that. I want to test it out. Uh, but I do have a few three-foot deep tanks, so depending on how well this works, I definitely uh, will try it out on one of my client's tanks just to see what the flow is going to look like. Oh, this is where I messed up the uh, my uh, machining there, by the way. You can see how easy it goes through the first little bit. And I just didn't like that, so I ended up making a new piece for that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, like I said, finish this up, get the nesting together, uh, drill the holes, uh, stick it in the tank. I'm going to start off with uh, one air stone, uh, see how that flows. And then as I was doing this, uh, I actually had another idea for another version of this. Uh, I was going to include it in this video, but I didn't quite get it all done. Uh, so it's going to wait for another time. Hopefully we'll see how that works out. But I want to see how narrow one can make a pipe and still have that flow going through it. Because a neat thing happens when you have much narrower pipes. There is a wicking effect. Uh, water is actually just drawn up simply because of the narrowness of the pipe. And I had an interesting idea for doing that, uh, but like I said, I ran out of time, so that'll be for another video. So here's the bushing, I was originally going to cut that in half, but I ended up messing that all up. So I'm going to make another one here, and like I said, I'm going to keep working at this. Uh, I definitely want to uh, get some better systems for air-driven. 
not so much because you know water uh, pumps are like I mean, that horrible i mean obviously i will have to convert my favorite filtration system which is the leak proof canister filter into probably using more uh, trickle filters and sumps and that sort of thing because there's no point in building a leak proof filter if your water pump's gonna go so if i have it in a sump and the water pump seal goes or cracks or whatever uh, it's not going to leak anywhere. It's just going to uh, stay in, or sorry, shoot a little bit of water into the sump, and that's not really an issue. And then I'll just end up replacing the pump, and it's no big deal. But if I'm going to try any more inline stuff, I need to, like I said, find a better way of doing this sort of thing. So a lot of the tanks I'd make, uh, the client would like it to be um, unobtrusive, hidden. So kind of hard to hide, high sorry kind of hard to hide box filters uh hobs are easier i mean i've drilled i showed you the the stealth hob there which is just a drilled tank with a hob on the outside and that works perfectly fine but even still uh like i said there are other ways and other things i need to do so uh we're gonna try and try and get this to work if nothing else just for my own curiosity so here we go, they're all nested together. Uh, like I said, that's the middle bushing is the one I had to remake. Uh, and actually the nice thing about it now is it, uh, they all match, so it looks nicer this way. And like I said, the, where my left hand is there, uh, that's right at the bottom is where I'm gonna drill the two quarter inch holes for the airline. Once I have this working, if I like it, I will end up uh, sticking this on a client's tank uh, just to have it work for a little while longer. I always find that brand new works really well and then after a given amount of time certain ideas just don't hold up for maintenance and such and that's another reason why I want to uh, run this for an extended period of time on something. And then once uh, once I do that, if I like I said, if I like the flow out of this, what I'm going to do is uh, instead of just having loose airlines into this, I'm going to bend some quarter inch and have them run up the side of this and uh, have it more you know, streamlined and nicer to look at. And then, of course, I have to put a screen on the ball and that sort of stuff. But here we are. This is going to be the acid test. Uh, we're going to put it in some water, see what kind of flow we get. This is just one air stone. Uh, this is the empty tank. I haven't put anything in yet. <laughs> nice thing about it being empty is I can get to try stuff out. And because each of these segments is uh, three inches, this is now three inches of the water. Uh, now six inches of the water. You see it's starting to lose the flow. But it was only one air stone, so I figured, well, I'll drop another one in, and we'll see how that does. And it's still more flow than, uh, than the gravel filters, but it's not enough. <laughs> so here we go, stuck two on here, and like I said, these are line tubings that aren't staying, and <laughs> they're just there for uh, the test here, and then I'll just, uh, like I said, bend some quarter inch and make that look a lot neater. So I'm going to stick this in here, and this actually I found really impressive. That's actually not a bad amount of flow for six inches out of the water. And when I bring it down to uh, closer to where the water level is, that is an awful lot of flow. That's actually way more flow than I would need for uh, most of the things I do. Unfortunately, like I said before, this is only a few inches out of the water. I do need at least six, hopefully 12 inches. So I need to still work on this. I have two more ideas I want to work on, but there's the same airflow, same system, same pump. That's the amount of flow with just one airstone without any of this uh, fanciness, and this is pretty good. But while I was doing this, I thought, well, why don't I just stick an even narrower pipe on here and hopefully get a lot more flow? And uh, I also gave me the idea for the other one as well, which I'm going to try later on. But I'm going to stick that narrower one on here, and we'll see how that works out. So this, we're getting pretty close to the end of this video, so if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe, and definitely leave comments. I really enjoy those. Uh, I mean, I get a lot of feedback, especially on the water pump one. Uh, a lot of people give me uh, their uh, experiences with that sort of stuff, and that's just amazing. I like that. Uh, so keep that all coming. That's great. And what I'm going to do here is I machined one more bushing, uh, and it's going to fit in uh, the top pipe and I put on a piece of half inch outside but it's only a quarter inch inside diameter uh, not narrow enough I don't think but I wanted to try it out so it's gonna go on here and I had to put it in a different tank because uh, it's the only one that didn't have anything above it but as you see it just goes blurp blurp <laughs> 
But, like I said, I have some other ideas. We'll see how they work out. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.